Jasmine Davila has appeared in venues. That's right. She has appeared in venues both small and medium sized, reading and live lit shows such as SA Fiesta, 20 by 2 Chicago, and Sherp Radio's The First Time Show. She currently produces and hosts the lady live lit show Miss Spoken. When is the next Miss Spoken? Oh, Woo! all right. We still need readers. Hey, readers. Readers apply <laughs> after Jasmine's done, please. Uh, she tweets, instas, and tumbles at as, ja uh, excuse me, as at Jasmine D. Hey, Jasmine, are you ready? No. <laughs> well, come on up anyway. are you ready and interpret it as, as am I ready because I have to turn it around myself and being in Aries I'm definitely not um, and like for really much much of anything going on in my life um, especially when it comes to misspoken I'm um, having produced it by myself for the last couple of years or trying to produce it during the um, during the pandemic and now that we've got back to live shows I mean, it's been going okay. Like, you had like an Asian theme show because I'm Asian and I won like a show with all Asian readers. And the audience was maybe like just us readers and like three other people. Um, I know, it was terrible. It's like I bought like Pocky and like shrimp chips for like 30 people and four people showed up. So I ended up eating a lot of shrimp chips. <laughs> and, and that show was like three months ago and I'm still like dehydrated, from it, I think. So, like, because I've not been ready, I've been, like, feeling down on myself and, like, trying to find inspiration, and you would think that getting asked to do this would, uh, like, you know, provide me, like, inspiration and validation and other Asians that I need. Um, it hasn't, because, again, like, not only am I an Asian, but also self-centered, I also have really low self-esteem. Um, so sometimes I need to go outside of myself to look to other people, and I think I found it the other night when I went to the movies to see um, Joyride, which is basically like if the Joy Luck Club and um, The Hangover had a baby. Um, it's really great, especially if you love um, Asian people cursing and like making fun of white people, which is like what the shit that I live for. Um, but the inspiration came not just m m before that actually, um, and I thought I'd sort of share these magical words with you so that if you're feeling a little down and out about yourself, um, you might um, find yourselves ready to take on whatever challenges may come your way. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna go over, I'm so sorry. We come to this place for magic. We come to 20 by two Chicago. To laugh, to cry, to care, because we need that, all of us. That indescribable feeling we get when the lights begin to dim and we go somewhere we've never been before. I tried to do this in an Australian accent on the bus, and like, it just wasn't working. Okay, I'm gonna finish. Not just entertained, but somehow reborn together. Dazzling performers on a huge wooden stage instead of a silver screen. Sound that I can feel. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Our heroes feel like the best parts of us and stories feel perfect and powerful because here they are. Thank you. Yeah. 